the galaxy quivered under the iron grip of the Zathran Empire. Their brutal reign had extinguished countless civilizations, leaving fear and despair in their wake. Elysia, once a thriving hub of interstellar trade, now lay in ruins. The Zathran forces patrolled the streets, their ominous presence a constant reminder of oppression. Amid the rubble, whispers of rebellion persisted. In the shadows, a group of resistance fighters plotted their next move. Led by Kieran, a former pilot turned freedom fighter, they sought a way to strike back at their oppressors. Hope was scarce, but rumors of a hidden vault containing ancient human technology had sparked a glimmer of possibility. Kieran's team, composed of diverse species from across the galaxy, ventured into the depths of Alicia's catacombs. These ancient tunnels, forgotten by many, held the key to a potential resurgence. After days of navigating treacherous paths and evading Zathrin patrols, they finally stood before a massive, sealed door. With bated breath, Kieran entered the code provided by an old, half-burned map. The door creaked open, revealing rows of cryo-chambers filled with human forms. Deep within Alicia's ancient catacombs, a hidden vault held the secret to humanity's resurgence. Kieran and his team marveled at the sight before them. Hundreds of humans lay in suspended animation, a relic of a forgotten age. The air was thick with the weight of history and the hope of liberation. The team worked quickly to reactivate the chambers. The process was delicate. They had to ensure the humans awoke safely. As the revival sequence initiated, the soft hum of machinery echoed through the vault. One by one, the humans stirred, their eyes fluttering open after centuries of sleep. Commander Arya Draven was the first to awaken. Her piercing blue eyes scanned the room, taking in the unfamiliar faces and surroundings. Confusion gave way to determination as she rose to her feet, her military training evident in her every move. Kirin stepped forward, offering a brief explanation of the dire situation the galaxy faced. Commander Draven, we need your help. The Zathran Empire is tearing the galaxy apart. You and your people might be our last hope. Arya, still disoriented but resolute, nodded. We will help. But first, we need to understand what has happened in our absence. As the rest of the humans awoke, Arya and Kirin formed a tentative alliance. The humans, though initially disoriented, quickly adapted to their new reality. They began to integrate their advanced yet archaic technology with the Resistance's resources, preparing for the battles ahead. As the last of the cryo-chambers were emptied, the awakened humans stood together, ready to face the challenges ahead. Arya Draven, now fully briefed on the Zathrin threat, wasted no time in organizing her people. The humans' advanced combat skills and strategic thinking quickly became apparent, earning them the respect of the Resistance fighters. Kirin and Arya, devised a plan to strike a critical blow against the Zathrans. They targeted a Zathran outpost on the outskirts of Elysia, a key supply depot essential to the enemy's operations. The mission would test the humans' capabilities and serve as a rallying point for the growing alliance. The night of the assault was tense. Arya led a mixed team of humans and resistance fighters through the dense forests surrounding the outpost. Utilizing stealth technology and guerrilla tactics, they approached undetected. As they breached the perimeter, a fierce battle erupted. The Zathrans, caught off guard, struggled to mount an effective defense. Arya's leadership was exemplary. She coordinated attacks with precision, her tactical acumen shining through. The humans, armed with both their ancient weapons and newly acquired resistance gear, fought with a tenacity that left the Zathrans reeling. Kieran, alongside his fellow fighters, provided crucial support, ensuring the mission's success. The outpost fell, marking a significant victory for the resistance. The news of the battle spread quickly, igniting hope across the galaxy. Other oppressed civilizations began to see the possibility of resistance and joined the cause. The Zathrans, once seen as invincible, now faced a united front with humanity at its core. As the Alliance celebrated their triumph, Arya addressed her new comrades. This is just the beginning. Together, we will reclaim our galaxy and bring an end to the Zathrin Empire. Humanity has awoken, and we will not rest until freedom is restored. The stage was set for a galaxy-wide conflict.
with humanity leading the charge against their oppressors. The awakening of the warriors signaled a turning point, a beacon of hope in the dark expanse of space. Arya and her awakened crew had their first encounter with the Zathran forces. A small skirmish on Elysia's outskirts tested their mettle. Utilizing their advanced yet archaic technology, the humans proved a formidable force, driving the Zathrans back and igniting a spark of hope among the resistance. The day began with a quiet tension as Arya and Kieran led a scouting party to survey the Zathran-controlled areas. They knew the Zathrans would eventually respond to the loss of their outpost, and they wanted to be prepared. The team moved silently through the dense foliage, their senses heightened by the ever-present danger. Suddenly the sound of engines filled the air. Zathran patrol ships appeared on the horizon, their sleek black forms cutting through the sky. Arya signaled her team to take cover, but the Zathrans had already spotted them. A firefight erupted, the air crackling with the exchange of energy blasts and bullets. Arya's leadership shone as she directed her team with precision. The humans' advanced combat skills and strategic thinking quickly became apparent. They used the terrain to their advantage, outmaneuvering the Zathrans and turning the tide of the battle. Kirin, fighting alongside them, marveled at their prowess. One Zathran soldier, larger and more heavily armored than the rest, charged towards Arya. She met him head on, her agility and training allowing her to evade his powerful strikes. With a swift, decisive blow, she incapacitated him proving her capabilities to the resistance fighters watching in awe. As the last of the Zathran forces retreated, the humans and resistance fighters regrouped. The victory, though small, was significant. It marked the first of many battles that would unite the galaxy against their common enemy. Arya and Kirin exchanged a nod of respect, knowing this was just the beginning of their fight. Realizing the potential of humanity, the resistance leaders from various star systems converged to form an alliance. Delegates from the Veltorians, Draylans, and Ilithians pledged their support. Arya's strategic acumen and Kirin's leadership united these diverse civilizations under a common goal. The alliance summit took place on a remote moon, far from the prying eyes of the Zathran Empire. Representatives from across the galaxy gathered in a grand hall carved into the moon's rocky surface. The atmosphere was charged with a mix of hope and apprehension, as species that had once been rivals now sought common ground. Arya and Kirin stood before the assembly, presenting their vision for a united front against the Zathrans. Arya outlined a comprehensive strategy, highlighting the strengths each species could bring to the alliance. Her words resonated with the delegates, who saw in her a leader capable of guiding them to victory. Tensions flared as old grudges surfaced. The Draylan leader, General Raxor, was particularly skeptical, questioning the humans' ability to lead. Arya responded with calm determination, recounting the recent victories and emphasizing the necessity of unity. Her sincerity and conviction gradually won over the doubters. A turning point came when Lucia, a respected Veltorian diplomat, stood in support of Arya. We have all suffered under the Zathran's tyranny, she said, her voice echoing in the chamber but together we can reclaim our freedom. Let us set aside our differences and fight as one. The delegates unanimously agreed to form the Alliance of Free Civilizations. A sense of solidarity filled the room as the leaders pledged their resources and military forces to the cause. The Alliance was born, and with it, a newfound hope for the galaxy's future. Arya initiated an intensive training program blending ancient human warfare tactics with the advanced technology of their allies. The newly formed alliance worked tirelessly, preparing for the inevitable clashes with the Zathran Empire. Bonds of camaraderie and respect grew among the soldiers. The alliance established a training base on a secluded planet with diverse terrains perfect for honing combat skills. Arya took personal charge of the training, drawing from her vast military experience. She worked closely with each species, learning their strengths and integrating them into a cohesive fighting force. Humans shared their knowledge of guerrilla warfare, marksmanship, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Veltorians demonstrated their expertise in stealth and reconnaissance, while the Draylans, with their formidable strength, focused on heavy weaponry and defensive tactics. 
The Alithians, known for their technological prowess, provided advanced training in cyber warfare and tactical drones. Kirin, alongside Lucia and General Raxor, oversaw the training regiments. The soldiers trained in mixed units to foster cooperation and understanding. They participated in grueling exercises, simulating real battle scenarios. As they trained, they forged bonds of trust and friendship that transcended species and backgrounds. One particularly challenging exercise involved a simulated attack on a fortified Zathrin position. Arya divided the trainees into assault and defense teams, testing their ability to adapt and strategize under pressure. The exercise was intense, with both sides displaying impressive skills and ingenuity. In the end, the assault team, led by a young Draylon named Thalor, managed to breach the defenses. Arya praised their performance, highlighting the importance of adaptability and teamwork. The exercise left the soldiers exhausted but exhilarated, their confidence growing with each successful mission. As the weeks passed, the Alliance's forces became a formidable fighting unit. Arya and Kirin, along with their leadership team, felt a growing sense of pride and optimism. They knew the battles ahead would be fierce, but they were ready. The galaxy's hope for liberation rested on their shoulders, and they were prepared to face the challenge together. The Alliance launched their first major offensive against a Zathrin outpost. Utilizing guerrilla tactics and advanced stealth technology, they executed a flawless ambush. The victory was bittersweet, as they uncovered the true extent of the Zathrin's brutal occupation. Under the cover of darkness, Arya and Kirin led a mixed team of humans and allies through the dense forests surrounding the Zathrin outpost on the planet Eloria. Their objective was clear. Disrupt Zathrin supply lines and gather intelligence. The element of surprise was their greatest asset. Using the stealth technology provided by the Alithians, the team moved silently through the underbrush. As they approached the outpost, Arya signaled for the team to spread out and take their positions. The humans' guerrilla tactics, combined with the advanced technology of their allies, gave them a distinct advantage. The ambush was executed with precision. Explosions rocked the outpost as the Alliance forces struck from all sides. The Zathrins, caught off guard, scrambled to defend their position. Arya led the charge, her combat skills and strategic acumen turning the tide of the battle. Kirin and his squad infiltrated the command center capturing critical intelligence about Zathrin operations. The data they retrieved was a treasure trove of information, revealing the extent of the Zathrin's grip on the galaxy. However, as they explored further, they discovered a prison camp within the outpost. The sight that greeted them was harrowing. Enslaved beings from various species were held in deplorable conditions, forced to work under the cruelest circumstances. The victory of the ambush was overshadowed by the horrors they uncovered. Arya and Kirin vowed to liberate these prisoners and expose the Zathrin's atrocities to the galaxy. The Alliance forces freed the captives and provided them with medical care and support. The rescued prisoners, once broken and despondent, found hope in the Alliance's promise of freedom. The ambush, while a tactical success, fueled the determination of the Alliance to end the Zathrin's reign of terror. As Arya delved into humanity's history, she uncovered secrets about their fall from power and the events leading to their cryosleep. Haunted by past failures, she grappled with the responsibility of leading this new fight for freedom. In the days following the ambush, Arya found herself drawn to the archives within the Alliance's base. The ancient human records, meticulously preserved, offered a glimpse into a time long forgotten. As she poured over the data, she began to piece together the story of humanity's rise and fall. Centuries ago, humanity had been a dominant force in the galaxy. Their technological advancements and strategic prowess were unmatched. However, internal strife and the rise of the Zathrin Empire led to their downfall. Faced with annihilation, the remaining humans chose cryosleep as a last resort, hoping for a future where they could rise again. Arya felt a deep sense of responsibility as she read about the final days before cryosleep. The sacrifices made, the decisions taken, and the hope for a better future weighed heavily on her. She understood the importance of their mission, not just for humanity, 
but for all the oppressed species of the galaxy. As she shared these revelations with Kieran and the other leaders, she emphasized the need to learn from the past. We must not repeat the mistakes that led to our fall, she urged. Unity, trust, and unwavering resolve are our greatest weapons. Kieran, sensing Arya's burden, offered his support. We are not alone in this fight, Arya. Together we can overcome any challenge. Your leadership has given us hope, and we will stand by you every step of the way. The Alliance, now more united than ever, prepared for the battles ahead. The shadows of the past served as a reminder of their vulnerability, but also of their strength. Arya's resolve hardened as she embraced her role as a leader, determined to ensure that humanity's second chance would not be squandered. Tensions within the Alliance reached a boiling point when a trusted Veltorian leader, Lucia, was revealed as a Zathran spy. The betrayal threatened to unravel their unity, but Arya's unwavering resolve and Kirin's diplomatic skills managed to restore fragile trust. The Alliance was preparing for a major offensive against a key Zathran stronghold when suspicions about Lucia began to surface. Strange transmissions had been intercepted, and vital information seemed to be leaking to the Zathrans. An investigation was launched, and the evidence pointed to Lucia. Confronted with the accusations, Lucia initially denied any wrongdoing. However, as the evidence mounted, she broke down and confessed. Under Zathran coercion, she had been feeding them information to protect her family, who were held captive by the Zathrans. The revelation sent shockwaves through the Alliance. The discovery of the spy created a rift among the Alliance members. Trust, once carefully nurtured, was now fragile. Accusations flew and old grudges resurfaced. Some called for severe punishment while others sympathized with Lucia's plight, recognizing the difficult position she had been in. Arya, understanding the gravity of the situation, addressed the Alliance. We cannot let this betrayal destroy what we have built. Lucia's actions, though wrong, were driven by desperation. We must find a way to move forward, stronger and more united. Kieran proposed a plan to rescue Lucia's family, hoping it would restore some measure of trust. The mission was risky, but it offered a chance to show the Alliance's commitment to each other's well-being. The plan involved infiltrating a high-security Zathrin facility where Lucia's family was held. The rescue mission was a harrowing experience. Arya and Kieran led a small, elite team into the heart of enemy territory. They faced numerous obstacles and fierce resistance but managed to locate and free Lucia's family. The successful mission not only saved innocent lives, but also demonstrated the Alliance's resolve and capability. Upon their return, Lucia, filled with gratitude and remorse, pledged her unwavering loyalty to the Alliance. The incident served as a powerful reminder of the importance of trust and unity. Arya's leadership and Kieran's diplomacy had navigated the Alliance through a crisis that could have torn them apart. With their bonds strengthened, the Alliance prepared for the upcoming offensive. They knew the road ahead would be fraught with challenges, but they were ready to face them together. The betrayal had tested their unity, but it had also solidified their determination to fight for a free galaxy. The Alliance faced its greatest challenge yet, as the Zathrans launched a massive assault on the Draylon homeworld. In a desperate bid to protect their allies, Arya and her fleet engaged in a brutal space battle. The skies above Drayla blazed with the fury of starship cannons and fighter squadrons. The warning came just before dawn on Drayla. Massive Zathran warships appeared on the horizon, darkening the sky and casting a shadow over the planet. The Draylons, known for their formidable strength, were prepared for a ground invasion. But the sheer scale of the Zathran fleet threatened to overwhelm their defenses. Arya, commanding the Alliance fleet from the flagship Valiant, quickly mobilized her forces. The Alliance had anticipated a retaliatory strike, but the size and ferocity of the Zathran assault were beyond their worst expectations. Every available ship was called into action, and the battle for Drela began. In the cold vacuum of space, Alliance ships engaged the Zathran fleet in a desperate struggle. Arya directed the battle with strategic brilliance, deploying fighters and capital ships in coordinated strikes. The Zathrans fought with brutal efficiency, 
their superior numbers pressing the Alliance forces to their limits. On the ground, Kirin led the defense of Drela's capital city. Draylan warriors, supported by human and Veltorian troops, held the lines against wave after wave of Zathran soldiers. The city became a battleground, with every street and building contested. The battle raged for hours, turning the skies into a maelstrom of explosions and laser fire. The Valiant took heavy damage, but Arya's resolve never wavered. She ordered daring maneuvers, using the planet's gravitational field to their advantage, and turning the tide against the Zathrin warships. In a decisive moment, Arya identified the flagship of the Zathrin fleet and launched a concentrated attack. The Alliance forces, rallying behind her leadership, managed to break through the Zathrin defenses and disable the flagship's command center. The Zathrin fleet, disoriented and leaderless, began to retreat. The victory came at a great cost. Many Alliance ships lay in ruins, and the surface of Drela was scarred by the fierce fighting. But the Alliance had held their ground. The Zathrins had been dealt a significant blow, and Drela remained free. As the smoke cleared and the wounded were tended to, Arya and Kirin stood together, their bond of trust and leadership stronger than ever. They knew the war was far from over, but the siege of Drela had proven the strength and resilience of their alliance. Amidst the chaos of the siege, a breakthrough in human technology gave the Alliance a critical edge. Arya and her team developed a powerful energy weapon capable of piercing Zathrin defenses. This innovation turned the tide of battle, forcing the Zathrins to retreat. After the intense battle of Drela, Arya and her team worked tirelessly to analyze the data and debris left from the Zathrin fleet. They discovered a weakness in the Zathrin's shield technology a flaw that could be exploited with the right weaponry. The Alithians, with their advanced technological expertise, collaborated with human scientists to develop a new energy weapon. The prototype, named the Disruptor Cannon, was designed to emit a concentrated energy beam capable of penetrating the Zathrin shields. Testing the weapon on captured Zathrin drones yielded promising results. With the new weapon in hand, Arya planned a counter-offensive to push the Zathrins back. The Alliance gathered their forces for the assault on a major Zathrin supply base. The base, heavily fortified and shielded, had been a thorn in their side for months. Arya and Kirin led the operation. The Disruptor Cannon mounted on the Valiant as their trump card. As the fleet approached the Zathrin base, they were met with fierce resistance. The Zathrins, aware of the Alliance's movements, had reinforced their defenses. The battle was intense, with the Alliance ships struggling to break through the heavy fire. Arya ordered the Disruptor Cannon to be brought online. With a hum of power, the weapon charged and fired. The energy beam cut through the Zathrin shields like a hot knife through butter. Hitting the base with devastating precision, the shields collapsed, and the Alliance forces launched a full-scale assault, taking advantage of the momentary chaos. The Zathrins, unable to withstand the combined might of the Alliance and the new technology, began to falter. Arya directed the fleet with unmatched tactical brilliance, coordinating strikes and exploiting weaknesses. The Zathrin supply base fell, a significant victory that crippled their logistical operations. The success of the Disruptor Cannon became a turning point in the war. The Alliance, bolstered by their new weapon, launched a series of successful offensives, reclaiming territory and liberating enslaved planets. The Zathrin Empire, once seemingly invincible, was now on the defensive. Arya and Kirin, their leadership solidified by their victories, prepared for the final push. The tide of the war had shifted, and the Alliance was ready to take the fight to the heart of the enemy. The galaxy, inspired by their courage and determination, rallied behind them. Determined to end the Zathrin threat once and for all, the Alliance planned a daring assault on the Zathrin homeworld, Thalakor. Infiltrating the heavily fortified planet, Arya and her elite strike team faced relentless resistance. Their mission, to disable the Zathrin command center and cripple their war machine. The Alliance's intelligence had uncovered the location of Thalakor, the heart of the Zathrin Empire. The planet was a fortress, protected by layers of defenses and a massive fleet. 
A direct assault would be suicidal, so Arya devised a plan that combined stealth and precision strikes. A small elite team was assembled for the mission, including Arya, Kirin, and top operatives from each allied species. They would infiltrate Thalakor using a cloaked transport, bypassing the outer defenses to land undetected. Their objective, to penetrate the command center and disable the central control systems. As the transport approached Thalakor, tension filled the air. The team prepared for the mission, knowing the risks involved. The transport slipped past the Zathrin patrols, landing in a secluded area outside the capital city. Moving quickly and quietly, they made their way through the harsh landscape, evading patrols and automated defenses. The closer they got to the command center, the more intense the resistance became. The team engaged in fierce skirmishes, their progress marked by a trail of fallen Zathrin soldiers. The city itself was a labyrinth of towering structures and fortified positions. But Arya's strategic planning and the team's skill kept them moving forward. Finally, they reached the entrance to the command center. The building was heavily guarded, with multiple layers of security. Using a combination of brute force and technological prowess, they breached the outer defenses. Inside, they encountered the Zathrin Elite Guard, the most formidable warriors the Empire had to offer. The battle inside the command center was brutal. The team fought with everything they had, their resolve unshakable. Arya led the charge, her combat skills and tactical genius guiding them through the chaos. Kirin provided critical support, his sharpshooting and quick thinking saving lives and turning the tide. As they reached the central control room, they encountered Xaroth, the Zathran Emperor. Xaroth was a towering figure, radiating power and malice. The final showdown was intense with the fate of the galaxy hanging in the balance. Arya confronted Zareth, their duel a clash of wills and skill. With a combination of strength, strategy, and sheer determination, Arya managed to defeat Zareth. The Emperor fell and the command center was disabled. The Zathrin war machine ground to a halt, their forces leaderless and disorganized. The mission was a success. The heart of the Zathrin Empire had been pierced, and their grip on the galaxy was broken. As the team regrouped, the weight of their victory settled in. The war was not yet over, but the Alliance had struck a decisive blow. The galaxy, once terrorized by the Zathrans, now had a chance at lasting peace and freedom. In a climactic showdown, Arya confronted the Zathran Emperor, Zaroth. The battle was fierce and personal, embodying the struggle of countless civilizations yearning for freedom. As the Emperor fell, the Zathran Empire's grip on the galaxy shattered. The Alliance emerged victorious, with humanity at the forefront of a new era of peace and cooperation. The fall of the Zathran Command Center sent shockwaves through the galaxy. Zathran fleets, now leaderless and disorganized, were in disarray. The Alliance seized this moment of weakness, launching coordinated strikes to liberate occupied worlds and dismantle remaining Zathran strongholds. Arya, Kirin, and their elite team returned to the Valiant, their flagship, to oversee the final phases of the campaign. The atmosphere was a mix of relief and determination. They had come so far, but the battle was not over yet. The remnants of the Zathran forces were regrouping for a last desperate stand. The Alliance set its sights on Thalakor, the Zathran homeworld. With the Emperor defeated, the planet's defenses were weakened, but it was still heavily fortified. The final battle would be fought here, a showdown that would determine the fate of the galaxy. As the Alliance fleet approached Thalakor, they encountered fierce resistance. Zathran warships, driven by desperation, launched a relentless counterattack. The skies above Thalakor lit up with the fury of battle, ships engaging in dogfights and capital ships trading devastating broadsides. Arya directed the battle from the bridge of the Valiant, her voice calm and authoritative. She coordinated strikes, deploying fighters and bombers to key positions. Kirin, now a seasoned leader in his own right, led a squadron of elite pilots, taking out enemy fighters with surgical precision. The battle raged on, with both sides suffering heavy losses. The Alliance forces, fueled by their determination and the memory of countless atrocities, fought with unparalleled resolve. Slowly but surely, 
they began to gain the upper hand, pushing the Zathran fleet back. In the midst of the chaos, Arya received an urgent message from the ground forces. Zathran soldiers had fortified themselves in the capital city, using civilians as human shields. The situation was dire, and a ground assault was needed to save the hostages and secure the city. Arya and Kirin led the charge, deploying troops to key positions around the city. The battle on the ground was brutal, with fierce urban combat in the narrow streets and towering buildings. The Alliance forces moved methodically, liberating sections of the city and evacuating civilians. As they advanced towards the central plaza, they encountered the last remnants of the Zathran elite guard. The final confrontation was intense, with both sides fighting for every inch of ground. Arya, her leadership inspiring those around her, led the assault with unwavering determination. In the heart of the city, amidst the rubble and chaos, Arya faced the last of the Zathran leadership. With the fall of the Emperor, they were leaderless and desperate, but still dangerous. Arya's tactical brilliance and combat skills shone as she engaged them, one by one, until the last of the resistance was crushed. The battle was over. The Zathran Empire, once the terror of the galaxy, lay in ruins. The Alliance, bloodied but unbroken, stood victorious. As the sun rose over Thalakor, its light revealed a city scarred by war, but filled with hope. The galaxy was free. Arya and Kirin, standing amidst the ruins, looked out over the liberated city. They had achieved the impossible, united countless civilizations, and brought an end to a reign of terror. The cost had been high, but the reward was priceless, peace and freedom for all. As the news of the victory spread, celebrations erupted across the galaxy. Formerly oppressed worlds rejoiced, and the Alliance members were hailed as heroes. Humanity, awakened from its long cryo-sleep, had not only reclaimed its place in the galaxy, but had also become a symbol of hope and resilience. Arya addressed the galaxy in a broadcast that reached every corner of the stars. Today we stand united, free from the shadow of oppression. This victory belongs to all of us, to every species that fought and sacrificed for freedom. Together, we will build a future where peace and cooperation reign. The rebuilding began, with the Alliance members working together to restore what had been lost. Arya and Kirin, their bond stronger than ever, led the efforts to ensure that the lessons learned from the war would guide them towards a brighter future. The galaxy, once terrorized by the Zathran Empire, now thrived under the leadership of a united front. Humanity, awakened from their long cryo-sleep, had rekindled hope and resilience across the stars. Their legacy would be remembered as the beacon that guided countless species toward a brighter future.